Moho 12, The Mysteries of the Pin Bone, Its Initial Size and Influence. Starting with the default vector layer, choose the Draw Shape tool, and then draw an ellipse very large in the center of the scene. Starting with our drawing large allows us to draw small pin bone symbols initially. Create a bone layer and give it a name. With the bone layer selected, select the Add Bone tool and draw a large parent bone in the center. Now click once to add pin bones in these locations. Every pin bone will have the initial bone as its parent. Select the vector layer and press A on your keyboard or select the Add Point tool. Add points as shown. Click, hold, and drag on the vector layer and put it inside the bone layer. Now it becomes a child of the bone layer. Select the Transform Layer tool and scale the layer down to the size you want the shape to be. This process has allowed us to have small bone symbols as well as giving us a shape the size we need. Select the Bone Strength tool, then select the center bone, lowering its influence to zero. Then, one by one, increase the influence of each pin bone. Move the time slider to frame one, then use the Transform Bone tool to see the effect that each pin bone has. With the number of points we have on the vector layer and the size of the influence of each pin bone, we produce good clean curves in our shape. Move the time slider back to frame zero, then select the vector layer. Press A on your keyboard or select the Add Point tool and add these points in between every existing point in the vector layer. Having a moderate number of points in our shape allows the pin bones to exercise fine influence or more generalized influence. In the present case, we're seeing finer influence exhibited by each pin bone. Select the Bone Strength tool from the tool panel and increase the strength of each pin bone. Now, select the Transform Bone tool, and then notice the generalized influence of each pin bone, producing larger, smoother curves.